here we are. Pacific Raceways import face off. We're gonna check some stuff out. These are all the show cars. Yeah, they switched owners. The owners like, I'm all right, guys, Dion's car is back. It's back after what happened to it before? Uh, so back in December, uh, during Koi Run on the way back, I was playing with a couple of my buddies. Uh, pretty much uh, blew the whole motor. <laughs> Done. Done so. And then, bearing head gasket? <laughs> bearing, actually. Right. Um, and according to HMS, when they pulled the motor, they tried to, they tried to crank it. Yeah. Everything seized up. Oh, shit. So, that, so the, the, head, the bolts for the heads, yeah. apparently it took about three people and a torch from what Steve oh, really? was saying <laughs> to, try to, get, to get it off and they gave up and they just threw it away. Oh really? No so, shit. Yeah, so damn. brand new motor, zero to only 2,000 miles this time around. <laughs> brand new engine. Yeah. Dude, look at this. Man, you weren't joking, man. Full carbon yeah. GTR, dude? Bro. Uh, Look at the door jams. All right, so here we are. Full carbon fiber GTR. I'm not even gonna try to explain to you guys what's going on with the car, but we got my buddy here. He's gonna explain everything that you guys need to know about the GTR, man. My name is John. I own this uh, 2014 GTR. When I set out to build the GTR, you know, one of the primary criticisms of the car is weight. It comes from, from the factory about 3,900 pounds. You know, I set, set out to drop the weight significantly. So what you have here is uh, carbon fiber panels from Overtake uh, International, ordered from uh, Japan in you know, 2017. They arrived in 2018. The car was taken to Bulletproof Automotive in LA. They basically you know, did all the exterior work. They had the car for about 10 months. I just got it back. Wow, yeah. 10 months. Yeah, two months ago I got it back. But they were able to drop the weight significantly. I think on a stock motor, uh, stock trans car, you're looking at a you know reduction of about 200 pounds from the panels themselves. Obviously, this car has additional work done. So, in addition to you know the carbon panels, uh, carbon ceramic brakes, titanium exhaust, um, tubular subframes. Uh, so we dropped the weight, carbon seats as well. We dropped the weight an additional about 300 pounds. Um, so you know it was a good amount of weight that went down, but we added back weight in the form of a built engine, built trans. Uh, ETS Pro 1700 turbos are in there. So uh, Driven Innovations intercooler. This thing weighs 75 pounds in and of itself. <laughs> Um, so we added back the weight, now it sits at 3,700 pounds. The car puts down, you know, last time it was on the dyno was at Drive uh, Auto Sports in Woodinville. Uh, it put down about 1150 to the wheel on roughly 30 pounds of boost. Um, the turbos are capable of 50, so we, we bumped it up to 35 and then it exceeded the limits of their dyno. Oh, wow. So, you know, after that we just stopped, but we know that the car is probably capable of about you know, 1,400 wheel horsepower yeah. on E85. A lot more nimble than a stock GTR, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying, like, at first glance, some people might think it's a wrap, right? I so. get that all the time. Yeah. Almost everyone thinks that it's a wrap, uh, okay. but it is a it, <laughs> genuine dry carbon panels from, yeah. Well, John, I appreciate yeah. you, you know, telling us the stuff. Quick story about the car, man. It's absolutely amazing. I am simply amazed in the car. But yeah, we're gonna get some beauty shots, and I just want to thank John for coming on the channel, telling us about the GTR. All right, John, thank you very much, bro. Appreciate it.